Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do a quick love reading for you this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Sag. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Sagittarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Sag, let's see how you're showing up to the reading. Ooh, the star card wanting to get on the right path have healing reconciliation maybe with a large group of people or in friend group or maybe with an Aquarius person or someone that who has a lot of followers or a platform or people look up to this person or this could be you someone's wanting to reconcile with you or some people are looking at you or looking up to you and looking at your life looking in on you you have a large following or group of um something about healing something is very healing and peaceful to you maybe to um you know to catalog or uh videography or video your life or something of that nature here um something is um is healing it brings you a lot of peace serenity also your dreams and your wishes can very well come true or they're coming true at this time uh maybe on your platform or what you're doing. Um, I'm hearing that you don't even see that it's coming true. It's something that you dreamed about a very long time ago. It was a wish from a very long time ago and now it is manifesting for you. You know, it could be gradually manifesting for you also. And um, I know this is supposed to be love. So if it is love, then it's that a lot of self love is coming in for you. Also, there could be a reconciliation reunion here. Um, it, the star card is directly related to the strength card. That's Leo. So it looks like somebody needed to kind of go and tame themselves. Maybe you and this person were polar opposites, different. Uh, how you go about life, how you see things differently, you know, in which it caused friction at time, you know. Um, let's see how your person's coming to the Yeah, four of cups. They want reunion, reconciliation with you, but they also feel like they missed an opportunity with you, Sag or vice versa this is how you feel it can be all switched around but this is your person four of cups could be dealing with the cancerian person um you could feel like you missed out on them they missed out on you there's a lot of regret remorse here something was not scrutinized or something was not taken advantage of it was taken for granted because somebody had self-centered plans for themselves or they were very so self-involved where they couldn't see that look you got a whole diamond right before you you got a whole um a whole queen a whole king right before you I hate those terms when people use them but anyway um you had somebody very valuable or, or a relationship that's very valuable or could have been very valuable to you and somebody just didn't take advantage of it it wasn't important to them but now uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. Now they're seeing that they just they let something slip through their uh, fingers. They had something in their hand, but they didn't take advantage of it. You know, they let it slip through. Um, this could be your. This is how your person is coming up. So they feel like maybe they did that with you, Sag. You know, they just let you 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 fall through the cracks here. Um, the advice for you, Sagittarius, is the Knight of Cups. You got. You may get asked out an, an invitation, a date. Um, you also could be getting some spiritual downloads, some inspiration to do something, to get out there to create. Uh, also, this could be somebody trying to come back or if not come back, they're trying to sweep you off your feet, make you fall in love again. Um, maybe they're seeing your value. They, they want to restore something with you. Uh, this is an opportunity also, but keep in mind that this is, this is just a night. So they're still on quest or conquest. They still want to conquer something. So they're still restless in their soul. They haven't gotten to queen or king status where, you know, kind of the restlessness subsides. They're in a place of contentment. No, they're still just all over the place. You know, the outcome here is the Ten of Cups. All right. So looks like you guys can have some happiness or maybe you and somebody else y'all want to call a truce especially if you have a family with somebody uh or they're in your family you're gonna call a truce you're gonna come back together you're gonna try to restore or at least be happy with one another or happy for one another 
but definitely um, uh, emotional elation here. Um, I can't say that it's going to be like a long term uh, relationship, but the, the stage is set for whatever to happen because you're coming back together and you're at least getting in a space where you can tolerate one another and the truce has been called. We're letting bygones be bygones and we're moving forward. So it looks like somebody wants to reconcile with you. You want to reconcile with them. They feel like they missed the opportunity. They may invite you out. You may invite them out. I don't know. It looks like the opportunity for you guys to come together is here. It's just about how you perform with one another. At the bottom of the deck, the five of swords. Yeah. Um, so somebody feels defeated or they felt defeat here. There has also, there is lack of communication here too, because there is bad blood. Hence the truce card. Um, there's also somebody who had a lot of self-sabotaging behavior. Like when it was going good or it looks like it was going in the right direction, this person will just do something, just interfere, just fuck it all up. I mean, just, you know, um, so you kind of maybe had to leave it alone or you had to stand up for yourself also because you felt like you were being a doormat or you were, you were being taken advantage of. So you kind of had to sharpen your words with this person and let them know that you're not for that and you're not having that. Um, or vice versa, this is what they did with you, Sag. But it looks like there's an opportunity for y'all to come back together and actually have some true happiness, maybe even some long-term longevity, which will be like the Ten of Pentacles. But right now, it'll just be, you know, whimsical. It's emotional. It can come, it can go. But it's about how you guys come together and make it happen. So this is a really good reading. Um, just make sure that y'all do what you can do to um, it looks like the universe is going to bring us back together also with the star card being the only major arcana here um, you guys just want to get back on the right path with one another whether it's that we're going to be together for the rest of our lives or we just are in a good space because right now it's bad blood okay so um, all links are below Sagittarius if you uh, want to get your own personal reading or you Want to have a, if you have a question or two, you can always text that question to the number below. Um, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.